Hey everyone, this is Foxcat, and um, okay, so this is going to be a very, very interesting video because as you guys always know, one of the rules on this channel is I don't usually get political. That's because, you know, politics is usually dumb and stupid to my opinion, and really we should all be fair. However, despite that rule, I'm going to have to break it a little bit today's video because... Um, I kind of feel like I need to do this video for two reasons. One, there's a lot of people who hasn't caught up to the information on what's going on. Because trust me, I just now trying to, even as of right now, and side note, is a bit of a warning. Uh, please do help me in the comment section because I'm probably going to get a lot of things wrong with what's going on and stuff. So please help me in the comments comments to explain the true backstory on this, hence why I'm making a little bit of this video. So, sorry if I get everything wrong, but, you know, I, the most part, it won't be truly factual, it's just me giving my own opinions and some advice, be, say, but either way, like I was saying, I feel like I want to make this video to spread the awareness of what's been going on with D, pretty much, and I really hate to say this in a way, about to be war war free as I probably think and you know sorry for the quality I don't know why it's I don't know why it's acting like that whatever just deal with it because quality is not the point of this video it's literally about the situation going on which needs to be important so for those who are similar to me who hasn't really been watching the news lately and I have been keeping a little bit tabs but I'm probably going to be dropped off a little bit from this story later on, mostly because I don't want to involve myself to too much negativity unless something really does happen. Um, recently, to make a long story short, there is a war going on where the country of Russia is trying to take over Ukraine. It's literally simple as that. And the reason why they're invading Ukraine and trying to take over it, at least what I've been hearing, because I heard at least... At least two major things. One is because something happened during, during where it's actually all interesting trivia. I look it up. It actually started all the way, way around two thousand fourteen, and it was kind of a little bit of a cold war. But after looking up, and you know, my source is fucking Wikipedia. Even I know that's stupid. It seems to be a on and off thing, but now it's finally turned into a final. Hot war, aka hence the term Cold War, hot war, because now Russia has invaded Ukraine. And if I invade, side note, not to be a little bit rude, I would say invaded would be the correct response. I think more, less, really about to. What would be a better term than invaded? Because literally, I don't think an invasion is the is a good way to describe it. It's more like literally going to cause massive damage to them because they're literally dropping bombs on their. Their country, I'm trying to be nice in the way I describe this, but literally, it is Russia versus Ukraine. I'm not actually going to go into too much details, to say the least, but I wanted to, you know, explain what's been going on, and I want to give my own thoughts on how this could affect us, my own own kind of advice, and kind of also trying to explain mostly what we should do during this whole deal. Mostly because, and sorry, I had to check that. Let me double check. No, it's not from here. But the reason why is because I feel like this is mostly important to do this video, which is kind of interesting because I don't usually do these type of videos, but I feel like I feel like I really need to. So the first things first is what's I know so far about the war and why this war so bad. Like I said. I don't know too much, but I do know this has been going on since 2014. I did look it up, and it finally became a hot war literally last month. It just started two weeks ago, and of course, the thing is, like I said, it's I don't exactly know. Interesting enough, I did talk to a guy last night. It's a long story, but I was in an Uber and all that, and he told me it was because Russia is trying to try to recreate the Soviet Union. So I know that is not fact, that came from one guy, so if it's not fact, then forgive me because I understand because I have no idea what's really going on. But they are trying to take control of Ukraine for some reason. 
or another. Again, please in the comment section try to explain this because I'm going to try my hardest to avoid mostly trying to give accidental false information because I have, don't want to do that. But I will say that right now things are really looking interesting and very meh to say the least. And I wanted to go ahead and spread my own thoughts on this thing. And personally, the biggest advice I can give right now is, even though it's not saying don't help the crew people who are really suffering, which is the Ukraines, because really that is, I don't even need to say that advice because people are already doing that now, which is great. But the major thing is to stay the fuck calm. That is literally the best advice I think people are needing. In fact, yes, this is so negative, but that's the, the thing. We can't let this negativity get to us in the best of ability. We'll cross that bridge if that bridge is even crossed. So we have to wait and see how things play out. Helping others is the best thing is going on. We just need to stay calm. There's not a World War III happening, hopefully. It's 50-50 at this point, but really, I don't think they're really going to be a World War III. It's too dangerous, even if it does, because for those who don't know, if we were able to enter a World War III, due to the fact that we have nukes, every country, not just United States or fucking North Korea or even Russia, because every freaking country has a fucking nuke, not everyone, but you know what I mean, things could get deadly pretty fast. That's why this war... I really think it's 50-50 because it could turn into a World War III, but it will be very impossible if it truly does because of the situation. And to be fair, we had a similar war happen way before with the Iraq, Iraq and, you know, other stuff. And they didn't have truly bombing of nukes. So we could be fine. Keyword could be. It's a 50-50, but we could be fine, especially since... Luckily, it's not even truly a world war because, as you've been hearing, a lot of countries are agreeing that this whole entire thing is effed up. And, you know, it literally is a big deal because, you know, what's been going on. However, there's some other things I do need to point out that is kind of important that is very key. The first major thing I do need to point out, and this one... I will say this is going to, I'm going to try my best to make this crystal clear as best as I can because it is very serious and I really, really, really need to point this out because this might be a problem. But please don't blame every single Russian for this. Your real target is Vladimir Putin. I say this nicely. Because, like I expected, in fact, I just got done rocking a video today, you know, trying to get ready for this video, that people, like, there's Russian YouTubers getting hated on and stuff. I mean, I, I'm not too surprised that happened, but, the, but I am kind of nervous and worried on that. Like, I get it that people are hating on Rush, the, the country, and, of course, the president of that country for bombing the crap out of Ukraine and doing all this shit, which is understandable, but not every freaking Russian is literally Soviet Union. That's just been a stereotype, not even before this whole shabam, because you know the history, the bad history of Russian, Russia. Not every freaking Russian person is a fucking killer. That's literally going back to what happened with the Air Arabic, I wanna say Arabic, but please don't hold me to it. But you know what I'm talking about. Every Muslims and and even right now, this is kind of like the new freaking Asia thing. So now freaking Russia is back on game the hate list. It's really fucked up because not every Russian is freaking evil. Hell, right now, believe it or not, and kind of fucked up part about this is the country itself, the government, aka really the dictator is doing their best to hide this information from their own people. Again, this is a communist country, close to freaking dicta dictatorship at this point. And, it, and I'm not joking, not only are they trying to not tell the, literally leaking lies to the people, 
but there literally are like there are people in Russia who are saying no to this war, and they are literally kidnapping them and putting them in vans. Yes, I know the correct more terms is freaking arresting them, but let's be real, it looks like even their freaking police officer things they use to put the people in after they arrest them, they don't look like police officer to me, they look like freaking creepy man vans. So you know good and well they're chaining the people up as best as they can. And even then, not every Russian is also in Russia. And that's kind of a big problem because, I mean, I know this one video isn't going to change my people's minds too much, but please, people, not every p person who is Russian is evil. It's the same thing with saying every Chinese people believes in what what their government is, which isn't true. In fact, they're also suffering from their own government. And not every Muslim is fucking terrorists. Again, this is racism incarnate. And even then, the hell, I even heard that now, even like just a minute, just minutes ago with video that even some of the armies of Russia are being abandoned and even fired just on the spot from their government, which is fucked up in the middle of nowhere. It's fucked up. So again, not every Russian is support supported of Putin's crap. So please do not try to be try to say racism because I've been seeing like Russian YouTubers like I just saw a video. I'll actually link the video below by the way for this to make it more clear because I actually agree with what this person says a little bit not po not politically but what he says is exactly what I'm trying to say so I don't look like a screwhead. Not every Russian is a bad guy, and, and people are already forcing on it. It sucks, too, because really, in general, for Christ's sake, think of the government, not the actual people, okay? It's really, like, at this point, what's next? People are going to hate France now because of reasons? I mean, at this point, I mean, at this point, like, really? It's uncalled for, so please be careful with that. I mean, yes, just hate the gov the Russian government, not the freaking people that's underneath it, because they're suffering too with this. They're actually way more suffering than you think. Um, but anyhow, the other the other things I need to point out that are also important. Uh, for one, like I said, it's definitely like I said. I don't even need to say this, but. Yeah, you could donate and all that. That's super fine. In fact, I'm glad that I don't even need to say that. Just a bit side note. Please, people, be careful of where you donate. I just say that for reasons. I mean, I don't even need to say that as well because I know people are going to be smart where they donate money. I'm just saying just be careful of scam scams because really it's very important to be careful because who knows what these scams can do. They can take advantage of the situation, but I highly doubt that that's going to be the case. Um, and of course, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think of anything else that I need to say and stuff. But all in all, my point is, please uh, do be informed. Of course, always be informed. Uh, I don't care where you get your news, just be careful with it, but still always be informed uh do not panic because this is a, i don't think this is going to be a world war ii i'm more hopeful that it doesn't but or i'm at war for you i hope it doesn't da -da -da. don't be racist is probably the best way to put it because i know the situation is bad but come on it's the government not the people and finally be careful where your donations are going and you know on my own thoughts about this whole situation um Personally, I'm not too worried about the whole thing a little bit. I mean, I know I know a lot of countries are already taking care of it. I don't know how to really do it. That's my... Uh, I will say I do feel bad for both, for at least Ukrainian people who has to deal with that crap. I mean, you always have to feel bad for any people who deal with a war situation like that. I mean, we're more lucky than ever that... As of right now, we're more lucky because we're in a more stable place. Even though 
you know, there's a faulty with that, that saying, but trust me, you know what I'm talking about. We should be grateful for what we got right now. But also, I feel bad for the people of Russia because their government is fucked up to the point where they're literally kidnapping them, and who knows what they're going to do. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to even put... It's not even a government conspiracy theory. It's because of the fact that they really are trying to shut up people and literally hide the truth from them. And to be honest, I'm actually... the. The most annoying part about the situation, though, to my opinion, and this is actually something that is the reason why I'm doing this video, because this is the only video I'm doing it, doing with this situation, is the fact that people are not, like, I understand people are giving up the updates about the whole Ukrainian thing, and that's completely fine. I mean, actually, I'm glad to that they're doing that, but I wish people can catch people up with this situation, because... There's a lot of misinformation right now, and hell, the only reason why I'm doing this video is to catch people up on what's going on. It's a very serious thing, um, but yeah, this is kind of a very interesting video. Again, I don't usually do this topic, and this is probably going to be the only video that I do this. And, of course, with that phone ringing, I'm actually going to go on ahead and snap out of here so i hope you all have a good day and again the biggest thing i can say stay calm anyway snapping out of here bye bye